What's up, Internet? We are here for another evening in the town. It's almost Valentine's Day, so be sure to send out plenty of cards for Pete because he'll get lonely otherwise. And, uh, yeah. We can't currently access our our um, letters because our pockets are full, as is our letter inventory. We actually have to go sell some stuff at Nooks, which unfortunately we couldn't do yesterday. So until we get this sorted out, our inbox is just going to kind of be full. So we're just going to leave that there for the time being, but we'll get to it at some point tonight. In the next half hour to 40 minutes or so. But first things first, we got to get on a train. Hopefully deal with Rover, because as much as I don't want to deal with Rover, right now I don't have an idea for Blanca's face, so... Um, yeah. Rover is probably the more ideal of the two cats we could sit and deal with, even though I don't want to deal with either right now at this very moment. But who's it gonna be? It's Rover! Yeah, boo, yay, boo, yay, boo, yay, boo. But also yay. Because I don't know what I would have drawn for Blanca's face tonight. Okay. So next we gotta talk to Rover. Even though I don't really want to ever. I don't think we got a lot of choice. He's very much in a, you have to talk to me now kind of moment, sort of attitude, as he often is. And he's a cat, so it doesn't really matter what you think, it just matters what he's about to do. It's nice visiting people when it's nice to be nice and nice and nice, 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 but right now I just don't want to talk to you, Rover. Right now I have to empty a large amount of things out of my pockets. Yeah, so Groundhog's Day in Animal Crossing, it kind of sucks, because it's like over the course of three hours to tell you you get up at like six, it doesn't start until seven, and then, you know, you have to wait till like nine in order to actually get your prize for it. So we didn't get a flower model the other day, but we got to witness it, so that's, uh, something. I've got some stuff I need to sell, like that, and that, and that, and that, and that, 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 that. That. I should probably hold on to one set of paper, that and that. Make 8,000 bells, but wait, there's more because we got stuff in our pockets, plus, of course, there's stuff in the dump we should probably collect as well for a couple extra free bells. So let's go do that. What we have over here? We're gonna run it. What does this look like? Oh, that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. It's not a cool shirt, though. We also have an odd clock. How odd. Okay, so we definitely can't talk to Quetzal tonight. Noted. Okay, so. Now we just have to take everything out of our pockets and sell it. Fishing bear we can sell. Snowboard we could probably sell. Nebulaid we can probably sell. This is definitely from the museum, so we can sell it. That's from the museum, so we can sell that. That's from the museum, so we can sell that. And that's also from the museum, so let's sell all these. But first we gotta open them. We gotta try Ceratail. T-Rex Skull. A paperweight. And a second paperweight. Unfortunately, they're not compatible fossils, so we can't have, like, some kind of super dinosaur to sell. But still, we'll make a few bells out of this yet. Not bad. Let's see if there's anything worth buying at Nooks today. Anything that looks noteworthy that I haven't bought before. I was about to say these two have the exact same pattern, just different colors, but they don't. The uh, dots are actually in different spots. I think we already have this. Yeah, that's the spunky knit. We have that one too. 
I think we've gotten everything from Nooks today that we need. I'll see you guys later, Nooklings. Okay, so I can't talk to Quetzal. That's okay. Might as well get rid of these so that we can add our own letters to the museum, because we're going to need those at some point. That'll give us an extra free spot of inventory space. So let's do that. We should write on the blossom paper. Oh, that's kind of pretty. It's a little blindingly bright, but it's kind of pretty. Write this one. And there, now we have all the inventory space we could ever use. Let's get rid of that, and then we got a fossil. We got another weed we can get rid of. So, boom, inventory space dealt with. What's Peach is up to today? What are you up to, Peaches? Not much, it seems. She's just talking to her haunted wobbly doll. Well, I'll leave her to that then. Velma. Yeah, I would imagine it's cold, it's snowing. Hmm, she doesn't need anything either. This is gonna be one of those days where just nothing happens. Nothing there either. Hmm. Well, next person to talk to is good old Tangy. Once I clean this up. So, is there anything going on with you, Tangy? Nope. Is there at least a big fish hanging around? There is no big fish. That's disappointing. I'm disillusioned. I was expecting a big fish. Or at least something to do from Tangy. But we got neither. Alright. Goldie, I could have bought that shirt. We could have been twinsies. But I didn't. Nothing for Goldie either. Let's see what the Italian dressed bear is up to. Do you need something, Joe? Game Boy to Tangy. Sure. I was just there. I can talk to her for you. So, we gotta talk to Tangy, who has yet to disappear. I think she's right here. Oh, and she actually had the Game Boy. That's good. We don't have to go through 12 people to get that back. Very encouraging. Very encouraging indeed. Alright, so let's take this and get this back to Chow. I'm here to deliver your Game Boy. Even though it's very clearly a Game Boy Color. stationary. Thank you. I shall take that. I think Tortimer's gonna come bug us about turning on the, the lighthouse pretty soon. Now that's an interesting event because not only does it take a long time to complete and you can permanently screw yourself up very easily, but if you've already done it once, if you do it again a second time you get a different reward which is pretty cool. So it's still very much worth doing, even if you just aren't interested in collecting these same things over and over. So you'll actually get something different. That's not a coelacanth, and I'm not seeing Gulliver around. Unfortunate, but not entirely unexpected. Alright, Camouflage. I guess that's Dazzle Camouflage he's wearing right now. Caesar has a Game Boy, which I'm guessing is actually a Game Boy Color. That seems to be the trend. Okay, well, we'll go see what's up with Copper. And we'll get you your Game Boy. Katrina's around on the 5th. Oh, goody. Goody, 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 goody. Except not. Okay, well, we'll deal with that when it comes up. But first, let's get ourselves a Game Boy. For a frog. Because frog game boys. Oop. Get rid of that. Town's a little bit nicer. 
Caesar does not appear to be near home. This presents issues. It's not home. Okay, there's a couple places he could be realistically. That was one of them, but he's not there. This would be the other logical place. Doesn't appear to be here. Clean this up. Clean this up. Clean that up. There he is. Trying to destroy this house's garden. Very inconsiderate of you. Or just showing off you can't destroy flowers by running through them. I'm appreciating the fact that people just have the thing and I don't have to go through three people to return stuff. That's very nice. Let's clean this up. Alright. Let's get this back to Camo Frog. Maybe we'll get something really super awesome. Or maybe we'll just get like less money than a single piece of fruit. That's also very, very possible that an outcome. Okay, there's Camo Frog. See, his camouflage is so good I can't even see his body in the scrub. That's the power of Dazzle Camouflage. I mean, it's not, but I can say it is. Hey, an outfit. But you haven't tried on and you're just getting rid of it because you don't like it. Well, that's... that says something. A four ball shirt. It matches my hoodie. Nice. But it's not a cool shirt, so I think we'll stick with this. Maybe Cube's got something going on. What do you have going on, Cube? You need a guest and a fish. I can catch you a fish. Just don't get hung up on the fact it's a sea bass and we're fine. There's a fish. A fishy fish. Fishy 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 fish. Whoopsie. That's okay. There's literally an endless supply of sea bass. There we go. Got another sea bass. Whether we want them or not, but at least Q will be happy. Let's go deliver this to Cube. So over here. It would be nice if snow were hot. Because snow is terrible because it's cold. The coldness is why it's awful. I'll take that satellite. Okay, well we helped Cube. So we made the day a little bit better for someone else. Hooray! Next, I guess, would be Spike and Ace. See if they have anything going on. Well, Spike isn't near his home, that's... Neither is Ace. Hmm. They usually don't ever leave the area around their house, either. That's interesting. Oh, well, there's Spike. Oh, he took care of that. I guess there's nothing he needs after all. Oh well, we can at least clean this up a little bit. And we can see if Gulliver's down by the beach over here. Is Gulliver down by the beach? Got a ball. Nope. Gulliver's not by the beach. Well, that's disappointing, but at the very least we can send the ball back where it belongs. To the bottom of the sea. So that it can't haunt anyone else's daily life in this idyllic town. What do we have here? Ace. Who's gonna end up taking all my money, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe we can get our super awesome item. You want the satellite? Well, okay. You can have a satellite. I shall pick a card. Okay, the right card. Hmm. 
that's not a good card. I pick the left card. Yeah, alright, I'll take over 3,000 bells for that. Come on. I was not going to eat your chowder, I was going to steal all your dummies though. But you can keep the chowder. I don't like chowder. Let's play a game. This is the game I always lose. Oh, a red sofa. You used a head attack. Holy crap, I actually managed to get it right. I think this is the first time ever. You used a side attack. You know, this is supposed to be like a 50-50 thing because there's only two options, but I genuinely don't think that's the case. Let's play another game. Preferably one that gets me a dummy, please. A pawn lantern. You used a wrist attack. Yay! Head. You used a side attack. Aww. But I got it right twice. You should at least give me a bit of a discount, Ace. Come on. Let's play another game. I don't care about your sore arms, Ace. On. I want a dummy. Not just the one I'm currently talking to, Ace. No, I wasn't going to eat your chowder. I think the dummies only ever come up twice this entire season, which is kind of sad. The one time we lost it entirely. We've got more of the exclusives from this month, but it seems to be just unlikely to show up. Come on, Ace, let's play another game. Yeah, that's what we should do. Oh, a cabin wardrobe. You wrist. Side. Now he's got three, so it's even less likely he had. From that statement, it wasn't even clear if I was right or not. Ace, your games are terrible. Let us play a game. You can have this red sofa you're so excited about that you've never seen before because you need one. It's not like you just gave it to me or anything. Alright. I pick the left card. No, oh, that's not a good card. I think the middle card. Ouch. I think his second reaction is always the same regardless of what you pick. But his first one is variable. Okay, so we're wrestling. Got a really cool item. Aloe. Well, it's useful for sunburns and cuts and stuff. Wrist. Side. No. I was wrong. Yeah, that's not as bad as half the time you've charged me for something. Let's play another game. Just 
So, will this be what we're looking for? No. No, it's not. Just a head attack. And side attack. No. Alright, well, I think I'm done playing Aces games because they're kind of just bad. Bad random. And it doesn't seem to actually follow any sort of probability. So. Done with that. Got a bunch of stuff to sell. We can't talk to Ketzel. I think we'll probably just head to Nooks. Sell all this extra crap in our inventory. And then... I think we'll go work on our garden. That sounds like a plan. Of uh, some description. Alright, Mr. Nook, time to sell some stuff. Should do. I think we ended up losing like 10,000 bells at uh, Ace's crappy igloo games today. But at least we're getting some flowers out of this. I would like some flowers, Mr. Nook. Train's coming. I like that. I'd like some tulips. I'll take some pansies. Also, pentuple sixes for a moment for our bells. That must be a good sign or something. Alright, that's done. Time to run. We have to catch the train. Let's still leave without us. And that would be sad. It left without us. That's incredibly sad. Yep, I'm leaving, Porter. I'm ready for departure. Alright. So when we get back home, we have to... Put up our flowers, talk to Pearl, and check our mail. Those are our next three priorities. I think that's everything we need to get done tonight. Alright, let's get on that train. Getting on the train. Because train style. So now that we're done with this, we just gotta talk to Rover again. Where he says something that will completely shock us, and that he'll say something we, that we've always heard every single time. You always expect him to say something different, but he never will. And that's the most surprising thing of all. Come on, Rover. Hurry up. You're gonna die of old age before you get here. It is a wild whisker twister. It was okay. It'd be better if I didn't have to go through this whole long spiel, though. Okay, there we go. Get off that train. Back to the garden. Oh, maybe the dump first. Because freebies. We have... Fireworks paper. And a cafe shirt. To remind us of the worst side quest in all of Majora's Mask. More importantly, we've got flowers to work on our garden. Turn to the greatest tourist destination of all time. Truly, it will be a thing of wonder. Okay, we can't plant a flower there because reasons. Let's get rid of that. Looks like we've got it covered from here, so here's where we go next, it seems. Oh, we're already into the next acre now. Plant that there. Plant the 
this here. Plant that there. Plant that there. And we still need like two more. Oh, we're very close. This acre's gonna be tiny. That's exciting. Okay, uh, let's talk to Copper before we go see Pearl. Uh -huh. It's suspicious that Sahara hasn't arrived when she said she would. Bizarre. I can hear Pearl. There she is. She was trying to hide. Well, joke's on you, Pearl, because I found you. And I'm delivering your thing. Hey, I'll take a thousand bells. That is a good reward. Alright. Okay. And I think we can get rid of a couple more letters. Like that one. And that one. That one's from Jingle. I might hold on to that one. <gasps> Is someone in town? We got a new villager? Well, that changes stuff. Let's go introduce ourselves. Excuse me, Pearl. I don't think I've ever seen this villager before. Aw, Ninja Bunny. It is the middle of the night. But you're the one making more noise than me, Snake. So what's going on with you? I know. That's why I'm covering the town with flowers so that the weeds don't take over. I have a plan. Feel free to buy some flowers to help take care of this problem. Oh, we got a new villager. That's kind of refreshing because we haven't had one in months. Alright, so that's done. Time to go take a look at our messages, I guess. What do we have here? Oh, and we got one thing we have to throw out. I know, so I'll throw that away. And, uh, I think that'll be it for tonight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night. Plus Mario Mercury during the day, other stuff when I happen to have the time. I also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over a thousand videos waiting just for you. Including all of this stuff, plus more, and a lot of other games you probably have never heard of. I play some weird stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability. Which in this case is get surprised about the fact we actually got a new villager. Because seriously, it has been months. But we managed to take care of our inventory. And we actually managed to kind of, sort of, at least win the first round of that stupid wrestling minigame that's awful. So, I mean, we did something of value today, I suppose. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.